it's up to each and every one of us to, to um, signal when there is a problem, to address it with the right solutions, to, to name it. Well, I think there is a deep need for more uh, responsibility at the level of the political elites, also at the level of uh, grassroots initiatives. Uh, we also need to uh, stop thinking in uh, ethnocentrical patterns. We need to come together and think as Europeans. I'm talking mainly now about Europe, but uh, uh, these, uh, these um, uh, constant change of ideas between continents, between different political culture is very important. And uh, we have seen uh, what a... What a, what a uh, 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 wrong or pejorative uh, uh, influence uh, some, uh, some political actions can have coming from uh, countries that were uh, once like let's say the standard of uh, uh, liberal democracy like the US. So it is important to look back in history to draw the main lessons and to uh, keep uh, putting pressure on political elites to understand these issues and to stop using them for political purposes only and to start building trust in those societies which are nowadays affected by this, um, by this uh, new authoritarian wave. It is vital, I believe. Um, uh, let me just open a short bracket. I, I wrote my thesis on the administration of the past in Serbia after Slobodan Milosevic. And basically, uh, in the Western Balkans in general, uh, in the former Yugoslavia, we have a very cleavish uh, society. We have uh, different victimization features and so on. And therefore, um, I thought then, I, and I still believe now, that grassroots initiatives are very important uh, in this process of dealing with the past and in this process of building uh, trust within a society. Also, uh, grassroots uh, initiatives are very important uh, when it comes to educational means of, uh, of, uh, of uh, creating a new, a new, if you want, a new, a new polity a new polity and a community of like-minded like individuals. So, yeah, I am, I am one of those people who, who believe in, uh, in a civil society and uh, in, uh, in a com communitarian efforts. These, uh, these practitioners, these uh, human rights activists and so on, I think they need to put a lot of pressure, not just on political elites, but on various institutions like the judiciary or um, um, let's say international organizations and so on, they need to draw attention whenever something bad is happening, whenever some uh, minority rights are, are, are being, uh, are being uh, diminished and so on. So there is this, uh, if you want, watchdog dimension uh, which each and every one of us should should have, especially in a time when when, when the media is is being so uh, ridiculously attacked by uh, by uh, by everyone from every part of the political spectrum, and um, and yeah, even tributary to some private private or corporate interests. So it's up to each and every one of us to to um, signal when there is a problem to address it with the right solutions, to, to name it, to come up with what Hannah Arendt calls the little verities of fact, to fight against the fake news and post-truth, and to, uh, together to, to find the right people and to like-minded individuals to build a community of, of, um, of, uh, of uh, sorts and to um, reinforce democracy.